everyone, my name is Annie Pryor. I have a PhD in biochemistry and write the website StopTheStomachFlu.com. On that site, I try to educate people about how stomach bugs are spread so we all don't have to suffer through them so often. The short story is stay home if you have vomiting or diarrhea. I also do really fun experiments where I test cleaning products, essential oils, hand sanitizers, and laundry products for their ability to kill bacteria. You can see the results of all my experiments on my website. Today I'm going to show you how to use hydrogen peroxide to test your own clean laundry to find out if it's really clean or actually still full of germs. All you need is some 3% hydrogen peroxide from the bandage aisle at the grocery store. First, I'm going to show you what hydrogen peroxide does to bacteria. Here are two agar plates filled with colonies of bacteria. If I take plain water and pour it on the bacteria, nothing happens. However, if I take hydrogen peroxide and pour it on the bacteria, it bubbles and fizzes like crazy as the hydrogen peroxide kills the bacteria. Since hydrogen peroxide is so strong, I always recommend wearing gloves when using it. Try not to get it on you and certainly don't get it in your eyes. Hydrogen peroxide is a strong oxidizing agent. It turns into oxygen and water right after it steals some electrons. So the bubbles you see forming are bubbles of oxygen. Here is one of my neighbor's kitchen dishcloths that she's been using for a few days. Let's spray some hydrogen peroxide on it and see what happens. Wow, that's a lot of bubbling. That means that this cloth is full of bacteria. I highly recommend everyone get a clean kitchen cloth every day. Kitchen sponges are no better. Here's a different neighbor's kitchen sponge I found at her sink. I sprayed it with hydrogen peroxide. You have to look closely, but you can see lots of bubbling. Now here is one of my neighbor's clean dishcloths. I just got it out of her drawer. She washed it on hot with no bleach. Let's see how clean it got. Oh boy. I don't think her laundering is doing its job. Most clean laundry is actually full of germs. I've done lots of experiments where I've pressed clean laundry onto agar plates and found that lots of bacteria still grew. Here's one of my clean dishcloths that I washed on hot with chlorine bleach. I sprayed it with hydrogen peroxide. I don't see any bubbling and I don't hear any bubbling. Sometimes even if you don't see the bubbling, you need to pick it up and listen to it to see if you hear bubbling. Because if you hear bubbling, that means there's still germs. So you all can test your own laundry. Pick a dishcloth or a pair of underwear and spray it with hydrogen peroxide. If you see bubbling, the cloth is filthy. If you don't see any bubbling but you hear bubbling, there's still a lot of bacteria in there. If you don't see bubbling and you don't hear bubbling, it doesn't necessarily mean the item is perfectly sterile, but you're doing a pretty darn good job. Here is that same dishcloth of my neighbor's, but I washed it on hot with chlorine bleach. Let's see if it got clean. I spray it with hydrogen peroxide. I don't see any bubbling. Yay! Now I'll listen. I don't hear any bubbling. Great, that cloth is about as clean as you can get. Of course I don't believe that all our laundry needs to be sterile, and I don't want you ruining all your good clothes with chlorine bleach. A lot of the bacteria in our laundry is probably harmless. I personally want my socks, underwear, towels, washcloths, and kitchen dishcloths to be as clean as possible, because they're the ones most likely to have run-ins with nasty germs, especially if you're cleaning up after raw meat, or if someone in the house has a stomach bug. Because you know, if bacteria are surviving in your laundry, I'm fairly certain norovirus is surviving as well. So it can be useful to at least know how to generate clean laundry for when you really need it. I'm testing lots of other laundry products to see if I can find a safer alternative to chlorine bleach. So if you have a suggestion, please let me know. 
If you'd like to suggest a product for testing, please like my Facebook page, Dr. Annie's Experiments, and send me a message. You can also read my website, StopTheStomachFlu.com, to get thoroughly educated about stomach bugs and also see the results of all my experiments.